Prof here. <clears throat> and once again, it's time for Why Do People? You know what? Um, I seen something that tripped me out, right? Um, it's this uh, page. It's on YouTube. And um, what it's about is this obese woman. She had um, created a salon for obese women. Because she said when she went to regular uh, salons, nail salons or hair salons or something like that, that um, she sat in a chair and the damn chairs that uh, 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 broken down, you know, uh, when she got in them. So she said she wanted to look out and think uh, think about uh, obese women who want to go into the nail shops and get their feet done and you know, and, and nails done, and, and women will get to hear that. And, and, and she, she created some salon just for uh, obese uh, women so they can go to a place and feel comfortable and have chairs designed just to fit them. Um, I'm trying to understand, like, uh, why do people think that, you know, they can just create disabilities? Why do people think that they can just create um, situations and, and 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 stigmas and things in uh in society where we all have to adhere to them and have this universal understanding that uh you know where we have these uh certain like uh protected uh groups like they say you know and it's one thing if it makes sense but you know when it don't make sense that's the whole thing of why you know people like Scratching their head and wondering, like, what the hell are you talking about? Okay, first of all, your ass is obese, right? So if you're obese, that means you are shit. You know, when 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 it's something worse than fat, you know, that should tell you enough right then and there. I mean, fat should be the fucking end, ending point right there for people. I mean, then, goddammit, they got obese, right? But hell, it don't stop right there. Hell, they got morbidly obese. Wait a minute, motherfucker. Morbidly obese? What the fuck? I mean, you just hear that. They got fat, obese, and morbidly obese. I mean, motherfucker, that mean like, what does that mean? You could die any damn minute? Or what, what does that mean? Like, motherfucker, they, they, they move you to a hospital where the graveyard is right outside and shit because that's the next step? Or what the fuck kind of shit? What the fuck is morbidly obese? When I first started hearing that shit, I was like, damn, morbidly obese. I mean, that sounds like some goddamn shit like, you know, we don't have no fucking medical books to really know about this type of fucking overweight. You know, it's just, we just shit. We just fucking just sit back and wait for your ass to just explode or some shit. Cause we don't know, you know, when you get morbidly obese, it's like saying that your body gonna keep expanding and there ain't a diet pill or a diet shake or a Nutrislim, any kind of damn fucking weight program. There ain't nothing that exists in the galaxy that's going to make your ass lose weight. So, you know, when you more of a little beast, it's just like, well, shit, motherfucker. It's just like you about to just explode into an acid puddle or or, or some shit. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh-uh. It, it, but, but the thing is, what was crazy is they're talking about the woman, you know, she, uh, like, like made the salon just especially for obese people. Wait a minute. What, what the fuck? So you tell me. You would rather save up your money, get loans from a bank, or get investors or whatever to invest in fucking having a salon that catered to morbidly obese people instead of putting that money into some kind of <coughs> diet program or exercise program, something like that, to help your ass get healthy. So you would rather stay being the way that you are than being healthy? What the fuck kind of deranged ass shit? That, that people, they'll come up with all kind of fucking excuses. Here, here's the thing. Like, you know, um, you have people that won't let people off the hook for not having a job. Or talk about how, you know, it's hard to find a job. Oh, that's a lot. You know, there's plenty of jobs out there. You have to keep looking and stuff like that. And if you have to go into a different field other than what you're used to being, being in, then you have to do that. Uh, blah blah blah. You know they they'll look at that like you know, and 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 the thing about that, like what's really behind that is because the simple fact the taxpayers look at it as I don't want to have to take care of myself and then have to put into um uh on uh, uh, pay taxes that's going to fucking fund a, a lazy person or a sorry person ain't doing nothing. But here's the thing: you're being told that by the government, motherfucker. You know 
when they take taxes, when they just fucking uh, spring up taxes on you for any damn thing else and shit other than the welfare system, y'all don't say shit about that. You just go, oh, I'm so if it's for the roads or this, I'm going to go out there and tear the roads up and shit. Fuck the roads up and then turn around and tell you, we need taxes for the roads and shit. You're going to cost about $10 million. You know what I'm saying? Estimate time of roads getting fixed, 15 years. What the fuck? It, it, hey, man, how the hell is going to take 15 years to fill that damn one pothole right there and shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? But they need fucking damn $10 million and they said, the well, you know, I understand about fixing the street, man. They're calling the fuck out your ass, man. But, um, that's, that story just tripped me the fuck out. I mean, you know, the woman would rather, like, invest money into seats and shit for morbidly obese women rather than invest money into... She didn't even invest money into a gym. You know, that says something. That that tells you that you have people, man, that's big, obese, or weight. They don't want to lose the weight. I, I'm like, how the hell are you going to figure out how to... um. Uh, 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 how steady these chairs are and shit like you know what I'm saying like what the fuck you gotta have some kind of weight capacity that these chairs can go up to and shit you know they going to the fucking zoos and shit getting motherfucking rhinoceros and they getting motherfucking building these damn titanium steel salon chairs and they ain't fucking sitting a rhinoceros in them sit, sit down hey, motherfucker. he don't know what the fuck he doing they, they ain't pushing him back and hey you better move up. they getting the trainers and shit to push they, they, they motherfucker looking like what the hell is y'all doing like they, they they go and get in the pack of derms. They're going in there where the elephant encampment is at and shit. They fucking trying to design chairs for elephants and telling them to sit down in them. And, you know, the elephant and the rhinoceros, they don't know what the fuck y'all talking about and shit. They're like, what the fuck? Sit down in this chair. Uh, uh, you know, uh, c come on, Mula. Mula. You know, like, come on, sit down, sit down, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, God damn, they figure if the motherfucker can hold the rhinoceros and hold the elephant and shit, you know, or, or either the hippopotamus, I guess it'll hold the damn obese women in this, this, this um, salon and shit like that. I mean, it just it just trips me out. Like, how the fuck do people be just creating damn ailments and, and illnesses that they figure that, you know, society or the world should basically just, you know, feel sympathy for, you know, whatever this damn... Um, self-imposed illness or ailment is and shit. I mean, you know, you weren't born like that. Like they said, God doesn't make any mistakes. You were not born like that. Motherfucker, your ass must as, must as a child grow up just sat in front of TV, watch commercials about food all damn fucking day, and you just fucking copied every damn thing they told your ass on that damn fucking TV and shit. And then at the same time in school, you was getting F's and shit and D's, but you was fucking you know, paying attention to every damn thing they said on the fucking TV screen and shit. Eat this, eat this, eat this, eat this. And you just sitting there going, yes, yes. <laughs> you, you're in front of the TV going, talking about, yes, master. Yes, the TV is, the TV is uh, more of the obese people master and shit, man. That's why they, you know, um, they just keep on going and eating and eating and eating and eating. I mean, look, check this out. I ain't said nothing about no damn fat person. I said morbidly obese, you know, shit. I mean, morbid obese people. Hey, here's the killer thing about it. It was on, uh, 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 they, they, they got on, um, what is it? My, my 600 pound life. They got one, they got one, um, 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 segment where like it's a guy and I, I think his two sisters, man, all, every last one, dude, dude is the lightest one, the fucking brother. Well, you know what I'm saying? He 500 something. And then the one sister get on there and she's 600. And before she got on, the one sister who was 600 something, 600 something now. Before she got on, she was like, man, I just hope I'm not in the 600s. I'm like, that's her life goal, man, to just not be in the 600. I'm like, you know, this goes beyond, this goes beyond the, uh, lower expectations. I mean, what the fuck? You just hope it's not 600. What the fuck? I mean, you just better hope your ass can take another breath. What the fuck? Yeah, I mean, this is retarded. Then the other sister got on the scale. The other sister got on the scale and stuff. She said, I'm just afraid that I'm going to be so big that the doctor's just going to tell me I'm going to have to lose weight and there's nothing else they can do for me. What? Wait a minute. See that shit? Do y'all see what the fuck? 
she, I mean, man, because she don't want to fucking have to lose weight on her own or whatever. What she's saying is she hope there's a magic diet pill or, or some kind of damn surgery they can do on her ass so she can lose the weight that way. I'm like, what the fuck? You the one got yourself up to 800 some damn pounds. But once she got up to 800 some damn pounds, and she like, well, once she got on scale, and they said she, she was like 830 something. Man, her brother over there sitting there, he, he wait, remember, this motherfucker weighed 500 something. When they told her that she weighed 800 some pounds, this motherfucker looked and said, damn. I was like, and, and, I'm like, and and they kept saying, like, man, when you see this part, man, it's going to make you, you crack up and shit. And sure enough, it did, because I was like, god damn, you know, even he looking like, what the fuck? I'm not 800 pounds and shit, and I'm the fucking man and shit, like. Oh my God! You know what I'm saying? That was, I'm telling you, this one right here was more so uh, 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 fueled by that shit. I mean, uh, I'm not really <laughs> at, at this point in time. I, I I I'll be on some other topics and other things, other situations later. But this one right here, man, really just had me stuck on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Just good Lord. All right, I'm out. Peace.